What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Double M Racing. Um, we got the new engine in there. <laughs> I don't know if you guys seen the short or not that I made. I posted one on YouTube. Got one on Facebook. You can follow us on Facebook, Double M Motorsports. Uh, you can go follow us there. Keep up with all the racing action, all the pictures. Um, we post the videos on there, the link to them whenever we post them. So uh, give us a follow on the Facebook page. Um, but anywho, motor's in. Uh, it has been a torrential downpour for the last two days. And so uh, they say they're gonna race tonight. We shall see. Uh, Jerry keeps the track all packed in every week after the races. And so uh, he said that rain that we've gotten shouldn't have affected anything. I think we wound up getting uh, probably a couple inches. A couple inches. <laughs> Sorry, just got all work this morning. But a uh, couple inches of rain. Um, yeah, it was flooding everywhere. But uh, the pits will probably be a mess if we have them. Uh, there's a chance of showers later on this afternoon. We'll see. But the sun's coming out now. It's getting hot and humid. Um, it's, it's supposed to be kind of breezy today. So with all those conditions in place, we uh, should be able to, um, pending, you know, any more rain this afternoon, we should be able to race tonight. So, anywho, I'll flip you around, uh, show you the new engine, and uh, show you what all I got left to do on it. Okay, there she is. Doesn't look a lot different than the old one, besides the valve covers are different. Uh, everything else on her looks the exact same. Um, so anywho, all we've got left to do, um, it's got all new, all new plug wires. Uh, this is the wire that comes from the coil pack, um, or the starter solenoid under the dash. It goes down to the starter. I need to get all this stuff zip tied back up. All these wires zip tied, um, to where they're tucked up out of the way. This thing fired up, you know, fairly quickly. Uh, she sounds great. Um, idle's really good. So, uh, we'll see how she, see how she does. Hopefully we get to race tonight so we can see all the performance she's got in her. Um, but other than that, all I've got left to do on the car is my tire prep. And I've got to, uh, you can see how dirty she is. I washed her, but this black, man, it, it's, it shows everything. So I got to gloss her up got to get her got to get her all glossy but uh i won't uh, bore you guys with the details you guys have seen me tire prep and, and clean before but uh we'll pick it back up at the track when we get there if we have the races tonight also before i forget i think i can see me filming here let's go see and thank all the new subscribers here. Okay, we've got Smith Farming Inc. We've got Impamy One, Chase 32C, LM8542, John Doyle, Robert Marks, Crazy Redneck, Matt Coffin, Lewis Kirkland, and I think I remember that Max Locke probably Lewis Kirkland too from the last one, but thank you guys again for subscribing.
what's going on everybody figured i'd do my outro here real quick uh next day before the next round of rain comes in it's supposed to we've been getting a lot of storms here lately gotta love the spring but uh last night was a super frustrating night went out for hot laps car felt great handled great uh heat race um it was really really loose um there was there was a lot of moisture in the track and so it wasn't a track issue uh but man my right rear tire when i got back in from the race was super hot so i just cooked i cooked my uh my right rear uh, which made the car get pretty loose uh, for our heat race uh so we finished dead last in the heat um went out for the feature started 14th and made it maybe 10 to the 20 laps we only made about half the race before we pulled off um car started backfiring real bad uh it, it almost acted like it was missing on a cylinder um idled real rough had a tick uh in the engine on the left hand side we think um just a real light tick maybe like a lifter issue um so i pulled it off immediately when it when it started doing that um it's it's so frustrating <laughs> it's the whole night was frustrating um you know to, to spend decent money on a motor uh for us anyways you know we we paid four thousand for the motor with supposedly one night on it um and then for it uh, it smokes like a you've seen all the smoke coming from it smoking like crazy and, and it's mainly when you are you know full bore on the throttle um is when the smoke's coming out so there's there's something going on there that we have to figure out um i'm just super super annoyed super discouraged super frustrated uh it's like i was telling sarah at lunch you know we just it's sunday so we just got back from church uh went and ate lunch i was telling her i said you know if i'm not confident in i i can't race the way i want to race if i'm not confident in my equipment and you know so we're looking at what to do next from here um do we take the motor back out and send it off to to get actually looked at you know that's kind of the kind of the thing you run into when you're when you buy motors used um especially off somebody you don't know um you know there wasn't a lot of options out there in our price range um for the immediate um you know we couldn't afford to go to, to eagle machine here in springfield and and have them build me motor or rebuild a motor for me uh we did we can afford that stuff so um I, we're gonna we're gonna look at it we're gonna try to figure it out um you know i'm gonna call eagle tomorrow and see what they would charge me to you know these sealed motors i can't get in there and look at anything i can look at the valve springs but that's it um and we looked at those last night and everything looked good um so i'm gonna call tomorrow see what it would cost to have them break it apart and just look everything over for me uh, just to give it a diagnosis um you know the guys also said that they'd be more than willing uh david and michael the mccormicks said they'd be more willing to, to help me look at it and you know start trying to track it down and figure it out but i don't want to be the car out there blowing smoke out the rear end the whole race um you know that's just that's not who i want to be that's not the kind of car i want to drive and uh i want to have confidence in my equipment so that i have confidence in myself out there on the track instead of sitting there worrying about my equipment so if that makes any sense um if, if i'm constantly worried about the car acting up i'm not going to be driving um, as confidently as i should be uh to try to win a race but you know to go from the amazing start to the season we had i didn't finish below sixth at all uh was the first motor you know was running really strong uh, until it wasn't but uh just frustrating so that's where we're standing that's where we sit uh 
and uh, we'll see where what happens from here. I'll keep you guys updated as, as usual. Um, if you make like the videos, want to keep up with what we're doing, make sure to like, share, subscribe. You can go to our Facebook page, Double M Motorsports. Uh, follow us along on there. I'll post updates on there all the time. Appreciate you guys. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Now turn up.